Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 7 of our Castlevania Symphony of the Night randomized playthrough. So, let's continue. So we need to go back to the chapel from here. So let's see if we can this time have an easier time there. Probably not. Come on. We need a better weapon than the Morning Star for sure. <laughs> As I said, the problem with it is more about the, the the actual swing, how the weapon attacks, than necessarily the damage or anything like that. I need to check to see if the the devil here is actually getting some levels or not, or if this is just a waste of time. Let me check. Uh, familiars. So, uh, twenty eight. Decent, but probably needs to be like level 50 for to be actually useful. <laughs> but that's a pipe dream right now. Obviously, playing normally, you can just. Uh, I need to kill these guys here, otherwise, I can't move. Oh, so there's also that skill, great. There you go. Come on. Secret boots. Let's see if these secret boots here do what usually the secret boots uh, do in the regular game. Yeah. Just a little bit taller. That's it. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. So we also need to complete the map, so we need to be mindful that we need to kill everything but not transition transition into the next screen because otherwise we would need to come back here. And no, thank you, this place is annoying as hell. Now let's just use this, this sub weapon here. What is this? It's a very unique looking item. Onyx. What? Really? Really? What? Oh, I see. This is the yellow card sword. Oh, interesting. So it's just a little bit slightly like just slightly worse than the... Where's the thing? Ah, Jesus. Sword. Sword. Oh, I actually haven't been using a sword. <laughs> uh, Morningstar. Where is it? Jesus. Uh, Iron Ball, da da. Also, the Morning Star is either one of these two. <laughs> I actually don't even remember. But the important part is that we have the, the Crusade That's not the Crusade Green. This is actually the Yellow Card Sword. Uh, let's see if we have that special attack. I don't remember how to do it. I think, I think it's front and back or maybe... Like Hadouken style, I don't know. Whatever. But the main thing is that this is a a very good sword because it's way way faster and it's healing me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. All right, I have no idea. Maybe it's a randomizer thing. Meaning this sword in the randomizer does that. So it's a Crusagrin that looks like uh, Alucard sword, but feeds upon enemy souls. <laughs> so it, like it's like three things melted into one at the same time. I have no idea what item this is supposed to be. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 
You know what? Let's just mist through this place. Come on. Very annoying. Hat. Okay. Another resist star. One more for the collection. I wish these items were actually useful in the game. But it's very rare to have a situation in which you need to use them. Another life apple. Alright, I have no idea why I'm getting so much health. But, oh, the one I didn't complete <laughs> is right up. Yeah, I need to go back all the way down. Almost there. Alright, this should be good. Alright. Oh, I left the room. <laughs> Great. Awesome. But I wasn't sure I had completed this place right here. I'm going to just try to go as fast as possible. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a lot of loots. Another ring. I have a collection of Zircons in this one. Maybe this is one of those weapons like designed for speed running? Seems like a very strong weapon to have. We need to complete the game super fast, you know? Alright, come on, Tengoku. Alright, so here we need to basically do the entire stage. First time we've been here. Oh, no cross, please. Oh my god, no Bible. <laughs> it's trying to convert me here. So I think we are gonna go backwards first. From this point. I think it's easier. At least the song fits, so that's a plus. No boss music. So there's another save here. The invisible cape looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. I was thinking maybe we got super lucky with the... Oh, she's going to... Oh, she didn't. Maybe we got super lucky with the randomization and we just got a bunch of good stuff into one one item. Like a bunch of different effects in only one sword. But I don't think that's how the randomizer works. But who knows, maybe. I'm not well versed in the actual process that the randomizer goes through to decide what is going to randomize and how. Alright, this part, I'm pretty sure there's no passage here. We need to go down, there's a part to complete. <laughs> Iron Ball, my old friend. I was wondering when you were going to show up again. There you go. 
the Royal Cloak. Let's see if it's better than the one we have. Uh, nope. Oh, so this is uh, Joseph's Cloak. The real one. So I have the fake one and I have the real one. But I already have the Twilight Cloak that looks like the Crystal Cloak. I know it's confusing, but yeah. Oh my god, another Iron Ball. And I'm stuck in place again. Come on, demon. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything. So we just need to wait. Come on, demon. We lost the Iron Ball, man. How dare you. Oh, I forgot about the invisible dudes. Again. Oh, he dropped something. Heart refresh. Cool. I swear to you, never use this item in my life. Ever. In any playthrough. I was like, oh, I'll keep this for emergencies. And you end up never using it. Just like elixirs in the Final Fantasy franchise. Or like shotgun shots in a Resident Evil game. There's packages here. Yeah, let's break with the power of the bat. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even expecting to get something good at this point. I have 10,000 uh, reasons to believe that that's not going to be the case. A lot of evidence pointing to the contrary. Oh, come on. Such an annoying enemy to bring back from the first castle. Of all the enemies they could bring back. But let me tell you, the, the soul-sucking ability of this Weapon is helping me so much, my god. Come on, let's just do that. Let's see what we're going to get here. Monster Vial. Probably one of the worst items in here. Uh, Alright, keep going. Oh, damn. I lost the dagger. The, the library boss. We already have the ring of arcane and we actually are actually using it. Actually, I'd rather have the bottle than the crystal. Compared to this pick, it's just a less bad item. The crystal is only good on the Vampire Survivors game, the Rune Tracer, and this game is just terrible. Very specific situations, which is decent. Really, really, a pork bun, oh my god, isn't that exciting. Before we go, we need to complete the side here. This is the elevator section. So let's just complete it. Oh, this part is full of imps now. Great. Full of Naruto's. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so we are not going to enter here right now. The reason why I'm not doing that particular side yet is that it leads to the gallery. 
And as I said, the gallery is going to be our final stop before the the depths of the castle. Ah, damn it. If you take damage, you fall all the way down. Very annoying. This is one of the worst rooms in the game, easily. Just in terms of how annoying it is. Okay. Let's save. <sighs> Saving with the crystal is never a good idea, but. Hopefully we can get a different weapon along the way here. The only downside with this weapon here is that it's not that strong. Meaning, meaning the, the attack damage is not strong. Obviously having a weapon that heals you is just insane, but... I'm trying to remember in the original game, but I don't remember a weapon that does what this weapon does here. Meaning a weapon that gives you souls back after you kill something. The Mystic Pendant, we already have this one too. Thank you. I think there's like an axe here somewhere. Oh my god. No, give me the crystal. <laughs> we are just downgrading here constantly. So I think we're good here. So that also means that we are kind of postponing the fight against uh, Beelzebub here. I think that that's the name of the game. Starlight, that looks like the Ring of Varda. Oh, I forgot. I need to be the miss here. So we got the song that plays in the chapel. Here in the entrance. At least it's a chill, chill song, so there you go. We'll take it. This one takes us to the caverns, I think. Oh no, this is the teleporter, yeah, I forgot. Oh no, no, no! My god, <laughs> that was a very close call. Oh, I think we got all of them. Yeah, we did. So, the rib. Cool. So, we only three more relics to go. And we already have all the relics we need to finish the game, but we need to complete the map first. Maybe get a good item here or there, if possible. Obviously, this sword is really great. Not complaining, but... That. Another Dark Blade, my god. I've been so unlucky with my repetition during this playthrough. Or maybe this is the actual idea, or meaning how the randomizer was designed. To have a few specific items show up a lot in each run, you know? To replace a bunch of stuff. Or maybe I just have been unlucky. The amount of Nakamura's of Iron Balls of Dark Blades and similar items. Oh, the Alucard Sword, the... the good old bootleg version of the main sword. Sword forged by elves. So it's replacing obviously a different sword. At least this sword right now is strong enough to deal with this place quickly. Perfect. Oh, thank you very much. 
That's very nice. So let's try to complete this room first. So this is another one that takes us to the, the caverns. Not another one. This is the door that takes us to the caverns from here. Just checking. Oh, that's a terrible song to have in the caverns. It's terrifying. We'll be back here soon. At least now we can handle water. Uh, actually, I don't know. Oh, I can't. I was trying to see if I could, like... Wait. Yeah, no. I just saw that space there. I was thinking maybe I can, like, squeeze in there. So this is ice cream. Cool. So we need to enter as a wolf and we need to leave as a bat. So, wait. First. Oh, this is the mist. Sorry. So, wolf. Bat. Okay. I don't know why, by the way. Just is. You know. The oven cloak. Another monster vial. Oh my god. Let's see. Oh, this is actually better. Converts damage to hearts. So this is that red cloak that's on the Colosseum in the base game. Yeah, there's no downside in equipping this one. Ugh. <laughs> Only the color. <laughs> My god, these colors have been just atrocious. Okay, so I can go down here. It's gonna take a while to complete this part. Come on. Are the colors randomized or are the colors supposed to look like that because of that correction thing that I that I chose to have in the in the randomizer? Last time I'm using that. Everything looks so ugly. Oh my god, this guy is just so dangerous. Even now he's still very dangerous. This is a save, so what's that? Muramasa. Shouldn't be sore, nothing to those. I don't even know why there's two headed swords in this game to be honest. Because obviously most people are going to use a shield. So nothing again. As I said, this is the most annoying part in the randomizer that it consistently like defies your expectations for the worst so you go to a passage and you're like oh i'm finally going to get this item and not only the item isn't there which makes sense because it's randomized but you also get like a pork bun or a iron ball or a dark blade or something just rough stuff to get my god this sword is so powerful that's crazy. Look at that. Another iron ball and more ice cream. <laughs> I'm imagine like imagining Alucard's room at this point. There's this coffin. This coffin is surrounded by iron balls. He eats ice cream all day. There's a bunch of dark blades displayed. In the ceiling? Oh no, in the ceiling. In the walls. This guy usually drops the terminus, but not in the randomizer, obviously. There you go. Oh, luckily he chose not to attack her. I 
it's taking a lot of hits to kill this guy. Oh, he drops a thousand gold. That's actually a very interesting drop to show up in this creature here. Estoc. I've never seen that model before in my life. Bramasa and Estoc. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Let's go to the map here. I think this is the path to one of the... Or maybe not one of the, but the only extra map portion that you have in the... I think the Sega Saturn version of the game? The Japanese version? So now it's finally time to go to the gallery. I don't have anything else that I need to complete before. Obviously we can go to the caverns from here. Yeah, I'm going to die here because of that guy. Come on. I'm actually getting hit, but I'm not a Dark Blade, but I'm still getting health because of the sword. So we have that door. That's actually here in the entrance that leads us there directly into the gallery, so that's the one we're able to take. Ah, such an annoying. I don't remember if this bird right here drops us the the rune sword, I think so. After you play this game for so long, you start remembering which enemy drops like each rare item, you know? Yeah, I think we're done here. So let's start the gallery. Oh, so the Colosseum song? It's okay. As long as it's not a boss song, I'm fine with any song. Okay. Ah, I'm so glad I can hit the candles, my god. And they actually heal us too. Oh, the clock. I'm going to get the clock. I actually need it. Let's just walk around. Maybe there's a like a small item that I can't see here. You never know. Oh, that's a terrible combination. A place in which you shouldn't move against an enemy that you definitely need to move. Resist Thunder. Alright. Quick. There you go. So that's some good aim there. Oh, I thought there was like a, one of those spikes down here. I actually didn't got the Medusa shield, nor the Mirror Mail so far. So, Medusas are still a problem for us at this point. The Opals. 
circlet or opal. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, no items. Great. Very nice. Strawberry. Awesome. Why haven't you put that on the parfait we got earlier? On the top of our mountain of ice cream. We didn't have even got a, a strawberry here. Well, we didn't get an iron ball. So I call that progress. I need the clock, come on. I lost the clock, damn it. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna go back there. I'm pretty sure there's another clock in this section too. Okay. So we are going to go through the section of the map that in which there's the, the big clock in the middle. And the clock's probably going to open instantly because we have all the relics. So we are basically ready to finish the game. Come on. The damage is so low for some reason. So this is the part in which we probably should go back to the laboratory, now that I'm thinking. Because otherwise I'm going to have to walk my way around the castle again just to go to the laboratory. We're going to have to deal with that anyway, so ah, losing the dagger is rough and losing the clock is also rough. So we have a sub weapon that's not going to help us a whole lot on the particular boss fight here. Actually, I'm going to keep the crystal. It's actually better. Because uh, Beelzebub, he doesn't touch the floor, as far as I remember. So, the holy water is pointless against him. Oh, the demon actually can see the enemies. Interesting. Never knew that. Max up. Okay. Always hitting the air here because there there might be an enemy. You never know. So this part's complete. Come on. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, he is already using some of the the demon's special abilities, which means that. He's already in a level that he can actually be useful. That's good. Iron Ball. Yes. Awesome. I never used uh, the Iron Ball item in my life, so I don't even know what it does. But my guess is, using my big brain here, I can only conclude that probably throw an iron ball at people. Fairly decent chance of that being the case. Uh, let's just complete the second real quick. We need to equip the... the helmet that helps us during the fight. I forgot the name but we have it here. So we are going to heal for each attack and we all are also going to heal for each point of damage we take here, I think. So is the gold circlet, that's it. So that's our guy. Yeah, we need to go up here. Oh, 
Oh, so we don't recover damage done by these things. Only by the... yeah. The vermin here, they give us some health back. But not the, these weird bees here. <laughs> that's not a bee, that's a mosquito or something. Yeah, I'm gonna try to jump in with the reactor. There you go. So let's just unequip this thing already. And get the one we were using, which I don't remember which was. So, uh, the opal, the velvet hat, the felt hat, the goggles, probably the best ones, right? Yeah. Hmm, this one gives more defense. I'm actually going to take this one. There you go. So let's complete the map on this side. <laughs> Such a disappointment. So let's just... Uh, yeah, the side is done. It was already done. So I'm trying to think if I need to do something else in the laboratory, but I don't think so. I think we're fine. Yeah, so let's go. So now... The entire north of the castle has been uh, done, and most of the middle outside of the gallery, of course. So after we complete the gallery, we are going to have to go until the end of the gallery until we reach the outer wall, and then we are going to have to come back to finish the completion of that section. Okay. <laughs> I need to check how many I have. I'm pretty sure I have at least 10 by now. Probably way more. So if I could get the clock here again, it would be great. So this weapon gives gives you the the health per hit, not because of your damage. So wow! Oh, so you can't actually stand on this back. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time killing this enemy. It's very annoying. Oh, this is rough. Forgot about this guy. This is actually rough. This guy is actually difficult. A soul steal is not going to help me here. I might have to postpone this guy, yeah. I'm probably going to die if I stay here. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him like this. What's that? Oh, the healing mail. Good old healing mail. Helped us a lot. The first castle. Bye. There you go, as I thought. We're not going down, obviously. Or up, in this case. If you were speed speedrunning or something, probably a good thing to only doing like the upper part of the castle and already having all the relics. All right, so the Orox Quarter section has been completed. We already completed this before, so we just need the clock. If you can find it. I can't.
can kill this guy. These are the, the enemies you farm at super late game to get a bunch of extra levels before the Dracula fight. So hopefully we can get the clock here somewhere. I'm pretty sure one of these drops. One of these candles. Oh, this guy has to come on. If not, I'll have to come back here just to complete that passage. That means the clock. Oh my god, this place is a death trap. So, so far, no clock. Is this the one that takes us to the caverns? Yes. So we're not using this one right now. Ah, come on. Thank you. No clock. There's another passage we need to explore here too. Probably there's going to be nothing there as always, but... Oh, thank you. You're not getting... Oh, wait. Fuck. This is the passage. Usually there's like a library card, I think, here. Well, even more useless now. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to get the clock and... Luckily I know that there's one in the beginning of the gallery, beginning from the, the laboratory, so... That's a plus, so at least I know a place in which I can get one. Remember that in the randomizer you cannot go to those rooms that have the entire collection and get one. It's not available in the randomizer. Ah, come on, Diagonal Attack, please help me. I'm just gonna skip that. Oh, come on. Instead of getting like 250 gold, you can just a heart now. This place is so slow when you are doing the inverted version. There you go, so we just need to complete this room right here. Alright, now we are finally basically done with the entire upper section of the castle and the middle. Now we just need to go down. Obviously the hardest boss in the game is down there, but we do have the item that gives us health because of not because it is health every time we take lightning damage which is his type of damage and we also have this sword here so I think we should be fine but who knows Got a lot of. Nope. Okay. So. So the first one is going to be the mines, right? 
Actually, no. I'm crazy. First one's gonna be the caverns. I don't know why I thought of the mines here. So yeah, this song is going to be really annoying here. At least it's a slow song. I'll take it. So we have two sides to complete here. It's going to be quite annoying. I'm trying to remember what's the boss in the second castle. I don't remember. I'm going to be completely honest. Probably is the the doppelganger. Maybe. There you go. Elaborate card. All right, this is actually reasonably useful. I have a bunch of them, but I'd rather have something that I can actually use. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh no, 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 no. Not switching. I can't break this? Yeah, apparently not. Is this the succubus thing? I should remember, I think so. There's no succubus in the second castle, I think. Oh yeah, I remember that the room that has the save with the succubus, succubus in this castle, I think, gives you like literally peanuts, the item peanuts, instead. Oh, this place is so annoying to navigate. At least every single one of these enemies is going to give us a lot of health, so... Oh, just a little bit. There you go. I think this section gives you like 5 mil tickets, if I'm not mistaken. We already have the Dracula Tunic, which is not the Dracula Tunic, so... Another gold ring. Peanuts. There you go. So <laughs> this they didn't change this room because they have to keep the meme alive. There you go. So no succubus, but peanuts. So you know, pretty even. At least going down is way faster. Oh, that's a miracle. I actually was able to do all of them correctly. I never do this. I always fail a few. But hey, there you go. So let's go up. Oh, my god. Really? So unlucky. So going up, we are going to go straight into the boss. Here we have a lot of stuff to complete. So let's just do this side first. So probably breaking here, right? If I go to the left. Yeah, the boss is actually here. Oh, it's actually the double game. Oh, okay. Well, I was correct. Oh, 
so I need to let him do the smash. Otherwise, I can't hit him. Oh, he's actually using the, the tracer. Alright, this fight is kind of annoying because you need to actually let him hit you. He uses the Terminus, the Poison Sword, right? That said, he just can't kill us here, pretty much. So there you go. This one is the sword that helps us a lot in the first castle. Nothing. Great. Oh, these guys are swarming. Ah, the lag. Hopefully they drop something interesting. Yeah, I would not say that is interesting. <laughs> Well, Japanese people we eat a lot of sushi and a lot of sea animals. Might as well drop a shuriken, right? A little, a little bit on the nose, but... Yeah, sorry you're not killing these guys anymore. I'm just hoping for a decent drop, but... Not happening. At least we have been getting a lot of extra health max ups here. Okay, so this session is complete. Probably the mist can kill this guy pretty fast. Yeah. I don't see them in this good red. Especially with the lag that this guy's caused, my god. It's crazy. Alright, this is where the frozen ladies usually live, but. I'm guessing no such thing in the second castle. Oh yeah, this part's gonna be annoying though. I always hate coming to the caverns in the second castle precisely because we need to do all of these jumps here. And the enemies here are quite annoying. Oh, so this is the enemy I was talking about in earlier episodes, the guy that dropped the Noglamir, I think it's called, the Lord of the Rings item. Obviously it's not going to drop it here, right? But... So before we even try to complete any part of the map here, we need to complete the entire corridor here first. Okay. There's something interesting here in the end. Yeah? The wind, the nitrogen, the oxygen, the atoms, they are re really interesting. Science. Alright, so let's start the, the annoying process. So what you usually should be doing here is just like punching 
your head on the... Let me see. Yeah, we did. Okay. We need to kill the enemies here again because all of them shoot stuff at you, so they will force you to come down regardless. Okay, so so far it's going to has been easy. But there are ones that I actually don't even know how to complete, to be honest. I don't know why, this is the only part in the game that has that characteristic of like you need to hit the precise like frame to complete the map you know so there you go I already missed one so I have no idea where here I need to stay for a bit was here <laughs> This is probably the most frustrating part of the castle if you are like speedrunning, I imagine. What's that? Never seen that before. Because you are like having a good run and then you have to hit this particular spot, these spots for a particular amount of time and you have to be very precise. So you might totally like lose a run just because you weren't able to complete this section of the map here. So annoying. But everybody that has ever tried to complete the percentage in this game had the same problem, so... Not new. Okay. And we still have the other side. <laughs> yeah. No. Here probably. Also no. Here. Yes. I don't know why. This is the only section in the game that has this problem. I don't know what exactly turns this location in such a, an annoying place to deal with. Wow, this one has been rough. Oh, there's an item here, I think. Lunch B. This is like a McDonald's golden thing. Almost done. We are done. Oh, thank you. So nothing. Great. Okay. So now you guys know why I was postponing this for so long. <laughs> Not because it's difficult, it's just because it's annoying as hell. All right. So the left side's complete. We still need to complete a lot of stuff. We actually are going to drop. The moment we cross the screen on the right side here, we're going to go down. Just jump into the hole, you know. But we are probably going to do that in the next episode. So, guys, uh, complete a bunch of stuff. In the next episode, we are going to actually go do the hardest part in the game, which is uh, the mines in the cavern or in the, the catacombs here in the second castle. Hopefully you can find some uh, good items before we need to fight Dracula. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.